Morning everyone, this is Citizens United, glad to see you back, and yeah, let's go through today's games, because what a performance it was, it's Club Bruges 1, City 5 of course, away from home in the Champions League, and you smashed another 5 goals, fantastic, and Club Bruges in their last outing as well, they did well against PSG, they got a draw, of course we got beat by PSG, so this win was needed, and the boys worked hard, right from the kickoff we were aggressive, we were relentless, and we were always on the front foot. You can't ask for more than that. And we got the goals we deserved. In the first half, I was thinking, you know, we need a second here um, for half time to just make sure that pressure actually meant something. And we got it through the penalty. And then in the second half, we just ran away with it again, only limit them to a few chances. It's a shame they got the goal at the end, but those things happen. It's still a really good win. So, yeah, well done. And player wise, it was nice to see Edison back. Um, Stefan did nothing wrong, of course, in the league game against Burnley. But it's good to see how to keep it back. And he did well. Some good passes. Nice and calm possession as usual. And can we just say, who needs a striker when you've got full backs like Walker and Cancelo? Walker, for me, in the last few years, has been one of our best players. Always fantastic. He gets up and down the pitch. He works hard. A little bit underrated for me. A lot of people just say he's a pace merchant, which I can understand. But honestly, he's, he's incredible. And he saves us. And his pig saves us. There's no way getting around it. But today he gets forward, De Bruyne with a lovely pass through, and Walker with a decent finish. Keeper got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. But yeah, good job um, him, and I'm really glad he scored as well, because he deserves it, because he does work hard. And on the other side, we have Cancelo. I saw a comment the other day on um, Twitter, which said that Cancelo could, um, this season, possibly be the best right-back and left-back in the league. It's possible. Uh, Left-back-wise, he's been phenomenal. Yeah, he's right-footed, but... Again, he gets up and down the pitch. He obviously he attacks more. Defensive-wise, I've never really thought of him as like a top-class defender, but you know he does his job, and again, he's got pace to help, which we need. Um, but today, the ball by Foden, by the way, incredible. What a pass that was over the top to him. He controlled it well, and what a cool finish. I think went through the legs of the keeper, so great goal. Again, I mean, we don't have a striker, but our fullbacks are doing that. So if everyone chips in and keeps going, we're going to have a great season anyway. Um, yeah, I thought uh, Mares today, uh, he, was, he felt a little bit off. We didn't attack much down that right-hand side, particularly in the first half. I, you know, we kept going through um, Grealish, who didn't have his best game. Yeah, he was fouled a lot as usual, but he didn't really have his best game. He still attacked the defenders, gave it a go. But again, I thought he was a little bit slower um, than he could have been. But again, it doesn't really matter. He put in the effort, gave it a good go, and he'll get there. You know, it's his first time in the Champions League. Nice first game, of course, but it's his first season. So he'll pick it up eventually. And playing every three days is going to be, it's going to take its toll on him. You know, he's not used to it. He's used to playing once a week, maybe twice a week. Not like every three days like we're doing at the moment. So yeah, good performance for him. De Bruyne a little bit off it. He gave, um, got an assist through Walker, that pass a little through, which was nice. But I don't think he was really on it. Again, he was slow in possession. He lost it a couple of times. People should have really helped him out when uh, a couple of times, but you know, he, he had a bad game. But and do you know what? I'll, I'll say as well. He, I was nice to see the Club Bruges fans clap him off the pitch because rivalry can appreciate talent, and he's got talent. And obviously, he's Belgian. He's a hero over there. So well done, Club Bruges fans, for clapping off the pitch. I'm glad to see that. Bolden for me, man of the match. I mean, what else can I say? But he's incredible. He's absolutely fantastic. His passing, his control. Every game, I said it last time, every game I see more and more like David Silva, the way he controls it, the way he balances, the way he turns. He's just really good. And I thought as well, like, watching him today, the way he was holding up the ball when he was playing in that false number nine, he's, he's stronger than he looks. He, he's a great player. And so glad to see him um, today perform. Um, and of course, in the second half, we had Sterling come on. He did okay. Maybe he could have had a goal. Um, he also set up Palmer, which was a nice finish. Palm, I'm really glad Pep is trusting the youth team now that he's putting these youngsters in. Yeah, you can say that he's under unfolding with Palm. He would have done it with Sancho if Sancho hadn't decided to leave on us. But it's nice to see him coming through, and Palm is having a great, great season with us, I think. He comes on in the second half. He only plays a few minutes here and there, but every touch, every performance he's done, I've loved it. You know, he doesn't panic. He controls it well. He's always got a smile on his face. And today, his goal was wonderful. The way he shifted on his left, killed it into the corner. Great finish, great goal. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of him. Another player I really want to see more of is the lap. I'm hoping he gets a few chances. Maybe not in the Champions League, but in the League Cup, in the FA Cup, why not throw him in? I mean, we need a striker, and he seems to be banging in the goals for the young uh, the youth team, so give him a go, Pep. Give him a go. Overall, great performance from the boys, and it was very much needed. 
you know, if, if we'd lost today or we dropped points today, um, Club Bruges would have still been above us. PSG beat Leipzig. We could have been in a bit of a mess with three games to go, but with a win, it puts us two points clear at the top of the table above Bruges. And whether PSG win or not, it doesn't really matter. And we've just got to keep winning. If we beat Club Bruges on the home uh, home game, we're probably going to go through. Um, and after today's performance, I can't see I can't see us not going through. It looks like we're back. Personally, I thought it was our best performance of the season. It was an incredible result. And it's always nice to win away in the Champions League. And that's it. I just wanted to come up by saying, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Of course, we're new. We're trying to build. And that'd be really appreciative. And as always, thank you for watching. Really nice to see you here. And uh, see you again. Have a great week.